Hello everyone and welcome back to iTech. Let me welcome you all to this exciting news update on the latest breakthrough in carbon capture technology. A team of scientists at MIT has made a significant achievement in developing a new method for capturing carbon dioxide from the air and oceans. This technology has the potential to play a crucial role in mitigating climate change and protecting our planet. In this video, we will talk about how this groundbreaking carbon captures technology works and its potential benefits for our oceans and our planet. Capture of Carbon Dioxide from Air Carbon capture technology has been around for some time, but the process has been expensive and energy-intensive. MIT scientists have developed a new approach that is more efficient and cost-effective. The technology is based on a simple chemical process that uses an electrochemical cell to capture carbon dioxide directly from the air. The device consists of two electrodes with a liquid electrolyte between them. The electrodes are coated with a thin layer of a special polymer that selectively binds to carbon dioxide molecules. When the device is exposed to the air, carbon dioxide molecules are attracted to the electrode and bind to the polymer layer. The process is reversible, allowing the carbon dioxide to be released when needed. Removing Carbon Dioxide from Oceans Scientists from all across the world have diligently searched for effective methods of reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. Meanwhile, the ocean is the primary sink for atmospheric carbon dioxide, absorbing 30-40% to 40 of the gas caused by human activity. Method of Removing Carbon Dioxide from Seawater Current technologies for desalinizing salt water involve applying a voltage across a stack of membranes in order to acidify a feed stream via water splitting. By doing so, the bicarbonates in the water are transformed into CO2 molecules, which may be extracted using a vacuum. Hatton, an MIT professor, points out that the membranes are costly, and those chemicals are needed to drive the total electrode reactions at either end of the stack, making the processes much more complicated and expensive. The group developed a membraneless electrochemical cell that can be reversed. The seawater fed to the cells is irradiated with protons from reactive electrodes, which causes the dissolved carbon dioxide to escape. Initially, the water is acidified so that dissolved inorganic bicarbonates can be converted to molecular carbon dioxide, which is then collected as a gas when the pressure is high. The water is then sent through a second set of cells operating at a negative voltage in order to reclaim the protons and neutralize the acidity before it is returned to the ocean. After one set of electrodes has been depleted of protons during acidification and the other set has been regenerated during alkalization, the roles of the two cells are periodically reversed. How Carbon Dioxide is Further Disposed Of The process of removing carbon dioxide from water, like any other carbon removal technique, leaves behind waste that must be disposed of. It can be chemically transformed into a substance like ethanol, which can be used as a transportation fuel, or into other specialty chemicals. Or it can be buried in deep geologic formations beneath the seafloor. While Hatton acknowledges that some of the captured CO2 could be used as a feedstock in chemical or material manufacturing, he cautions that it would be impossible to use all of it in this way. Putting this technique into practice Ships that treat water in transit might use the method to reduce the substantial impact of shipping on global emissions. Because of this, shipping companies could be able to offset some of their emissions and transform their vessels into ocean scrubbers, which is a reference to the global requirements that already exist to minimize the emissions caused by shipping. Further potential locations for the installation of the system include offshore drilling rigs as well as aquaculture operations. It's possible that this will eventually result in the construction of carbon removal plants that operate independently all over the planet. Why capturing carbon dioxide from oceans is more efficient than air capture systems? Hatton thinks the method may be more effective than air capture systems since the carbon dioxide concentration in seawater is more than 100 times higher than in air. However, in order for the gas to be reclaimed from a system that makes use of direct air capture, it first needs to be encapsulated and then concentrated. Nonetheless, he contends that the capture stage has kind of already been done for you due to the fact that the oceans contain enormous amounts of carbon sinks. There is only a release step included in this process as opposed to a capture phase. Because of this, there will be a greatly reduced amount of material that needs to be moved about, which may result in an operation that is more streamlined and requires less space. Benefits of this technology The technology has the potential to be used in a variety of applications including power plants, industrial processes, and transportation. 
It could also be used to capture carbon dioxide from the air in urban areas where emissions are concentrated. This could have a significant impact on air quality, as carbon dioxide is a major contributor to air pollution. Another significant benefit of this new technology is its potential to protect our oceans. Carbon dioxide emissions from human activities are causing ocean acidification, which is harmful to marine life. The new carbon capture technology can help reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which in turn will reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that dissolves into the ocean. This could help to mitigate the effects of ocean acidification and protect marine ecosystems. MIT scientists have achieved a significant breakthrough in carbon capture technology that has the potential to play a crucial role in mitigating climate change and protecting our planet. The new technology is more efficient and cost-effective than traditional carbon capture methods, and it can capture carbon dioxide even in areas where emissions are low. It could also have a significant impact on protecting our oceans and marine ecosystems. As we continue to face the challenges of climate change, Innovations like this give us hope that we can make a positive impact on our planet's future. Thank you for watching, and for more such informative videos, subscribe to the channel.